how bad could it be? Whoa! Suspects charged in homicide. We are back with Max because this episode of Catfish, season six, episode 16, has been making its rounds again on social media and for good reason. Reasons we will get to towards the end of the video, so stick around. We start off with an email from 23-year-old Robert who lives in Maryland. About a year ago, he was in an online relationship with Ashley and the two met on meetme.com. They spoke on the phone and messaged for two years, but never met in person. Do you hear yourself? They fell in love and he claims that Ashley was there for him when no one else was. So just like a really rock solid type of chick. Last summer, Robert told Ashley that he wanted her to move down to Maryland and marry him. And while she initially agreed, it obviously never happened because here we are on Catfish. Ashley had then admitted at the time that she was catfishing Robert and Robert was so mad that he just tried to forget about her, which I feel like is a normal response. But on Christmas, he claims that they kind of rekindled their relationship. And just as Robert was getting ready to go and meet her, his health got in the way like he says it always does. So at this point, it's clear that we are getting ready for him to have some sort of very sympathetic storyline. Whether he deserves that sympathetic storyline or not is to be determined. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Robert has been in and out of hospitals for the past few months, but he says that he doesn't know how long his life will be, so he needs their help. And even Max then hop on a video chat with Robert. He begins to talk about his health issues and in 2009, he says that at 15 years old, he became paralyzed from the neck down. And while he can move from about the chest up, he says that he's just now really getting comfortable with being paralyzed. This is absolutely heartbreaking and I can only imagine how difficult this life adjustment would be. So while I'm pretty critical of people who write into the show for staying in these horrible relationships, I can understand how and why Robert would be looking for comfort anywhere he can get it. So I'm not judging him as hard as I judge the other people at this point at this point to clarify. The doctors told him that he would eventually become immune to his antibiotics and he would pass away due to his condition. He says that in 2014, when he was in and out of the hospital pretty frequently, he and Ashley met on meetme.com where she didn't have a profile picture. Now, besties, keep this part locked in your mind because Robert says that, that he didn't care that she didn't have a picture because he is more about personality than anything else. Everybody's so creative. And that he's a very open person who accepts people for who they are. And she knew about his health issues from the very beginning and she didn't have any problems with that. So I don't think he really cared too much about what she looked like, so he claims. While I have the utmost respect for people who claim to not care, about looks and say that looks aren't important. I personally don't fully agree with that. I think looks matter a little bit because if you're gonna stick your thing in- Wow. <laughs> if we're gonna get to then I need to be attracted to you. Oh, did I really just say that on the internet? Anyways. Immediately after Robert proposed, Ashley came clean about being a catfish and in his email, he says that they reconnected and he now says that they aren't in contact. So what's the real tea here? What's really going on? He says that he fully loves her and a part of him will always love her, but he just is not sure if those feelings are fully reciprocated on her behalf. But to be honest, she's never really given any indication that they wouldn't be reciprocated. So I think he's thinking that because of his condition, everybody deserves, not every, I don't say everybody deserves love because I don't think that's true. I think some people deserve to burn in the pits of hell. I'm not gonna lie. But as of right now, it's very much giving that Robert deserves love. So of course the guys are gonna help him. And it's clear that they're both hoping for a fairy tale ending, which they didn't specify what kind of fairy tale. So, you know. <laughs> So they head down to Maryland and they head right over to Robert's place. They are greeted at the door by neighbor Patrick who helps Robert out quite a lot. So they start by briefly talking about Robert's health. Doctors told me that he's going to die. Before jumping right into the conversation about his own personal catfish. Robert describes Ashley's catfish pictures as blonde and really, really hot. Blonde, really, really hot. Oh no. So while he said that looks don't matter, I'm kind of getting the vibe that looks do matter because what happens if he doesn't find her really, really hot? Then what? Robert then reaffirms once again that he liked her for her personality because they were consistently talking for weeks before she even sent the pictures. So again, he's saying looks don't matter. Keep that locked in, okay? Robert claims that he was absolutely heartbroken after Ashley came clean and Neve questions why he didn't even give her a chance if he loves her so much and if looks don't matter to him, if he didn't ask for a picture or anything. And I think that sometimes 
we just need to accept that people are not accepting of liars and that's perfectly okay but the way that robert is talking about himself to us right now it makes it seem like he is accepting but for whatever reason he just wasn't accepting of ashley at the time but now that he came on catfish he's willing to be accepting of her maybe i don't know i'm not sure so Robert then does some mental gymnastics and says that Ashley became overwhelmed at the thought of having to be his caregiver someday. And I personally don't think that that was the case at all. There's been no evidence to indicate that that's how she's feeling. She never said that. She never gave him those vibes. But I also think that that's not the case because she knew about his health issues immediately. Like he never kept anything a secret from her. In my mind, it's almost as if he's saying this to try and find a way to believe that she is in fact the hot blonde girl from the pictures, even though she told him that she was lying. So he's like, like, well she probably is that girl and i just scared her off no i don't think she's that girl i don't think she's that girl robert says that ashley doesn't work she isn't in school and he's not sure if she has a disability herself but you're in love i think it makes sense quickly but you don't know some basic things about her okay so we then take a peek at their messages and we can see that ashley has been trying to reconnect and robert has been ignoring her that's suspicious so in my mind, it's very confusing as to how he ended up on Catfish after refusing her multiple reconnection attempts. It's giving clout grab and I'm not, I'm not sure why. But Neve and Max then head out and Max questions, Honestly, how bad could it be? And sir, we're about to find out. Neve and Max then get right to investigating. Robert sent them a decent amount of information about Ashley, but they bleep and blur out her last name and her phone number. So we at least know that those things are true. So again, this fits in with what Robert believes that Ashley was just lying about what she looked like, or rather what Robert refuses to believe, which is still bad. Like, I don't want to make it seem like I'm making excuses for catfishing, because I think there's a, there's a few reasons that I could see as justifiable. And I don't know, maybe Ashley will have a reason that could be considered justifiable. But they run the phone number and it comes back to someone named Gina who's in her late 50s and who lives in Tennessee. They look her up on Facebook and they don't seem convinced that it is in fact her. Which is like, if you don't think that it's her, then why show this lady? Just mind your business. Don't worry about what everybody else got going on. But they then search up Ashley's full name and up pops an article about sweet Ashley being a homicide suspect. In suspects in homicide? which is not necessarily a good start to the investigation. This picture that they showed of her, her mugshot, is honestly a big jump scare, but we see that she was charged with facilitation of first degree homicide while she was under the influence of some pretty heavy narcotics. We also see that she's 22 years old, just like Robert's Ashley. So right now, things are not looking good, brother. Neve and Max deduce that this is in fact her, and then they decide to just call Ashley rather than trying to tell Robert their unproven theories about the- meth right. addled murder. Spare murderer according to max neve calls ashley she answers right away and she honestly sounds very very juvenile yeah, neve briefly fills her in and she immediately says that she doesn't think she can face robert because she has been lying to him then she says that she thinks that she's going to throw up girly what are you lying about that's making you sick to your stomach if a lie is making you physically ill you need to get that lie out of your body right now just tell us the tea i am big messy big messy but neve then basically asks her what the hell else she's hiding and she says that she doesn't feel comfortable answering that which to me it makes it seem like she's hiding something pretty significant so maybe i am kind of worried for what this reveal is gonna bring neve just tries to make the situation work by offering to fly to knoxville the next day and meet with her before they fly down to meet robert and this just makes her freak out even more before agreeing to the plan they hop off the phone and our old head duo split up oh so that actually did happen max goes to roberts while neve goes to knoxville and i don't think that they've ever split up like this so this is a really really uneasy feeling it's almost like when your parents first say that they're going to be taking time apart but they still love each other it's like oh my god no this was the beginning of the end neve says that he has never wanted to help someone as much as he's wanted to help robert which in my opinion is completely understandable considering the circumstances it's just that i, I know, know something, something, you, something don't. you don't which makes me question if robert was really deserving of all of this help in the first place so max then goes and does the recap all by his lonesome and tells robert that neve is headed to knoxville by himself before showing him miss gina who again i don't believe has anything to do with this at all and i just feel like it would be so absolutely insane so crazy to randomly see yourself on catfish when you're literally just minding your business and you have the smallest online presence and yet somehow neven max still try to pin you to all of this girl 
Give it a rest, mama. When Robert sees the jump scare pictures and the article about attempted murder, he's clearly in a state of shock, but he doesn't have much to say, which again is totally fair because how would you feel if you found out your lover was an attempted murderer? and does methamphetamines. I don't know, I think I would be pretty shook too. Robert then tries to justify murder for the sake of his relationship. And Cops accidentally kill people. And Max is like, come on now, be fucking for real. I'm just saying. Because at this point, it really just seems like Robert is willing to do whatever it takes to end up in a relationship with whoever Ashley really is. And I'm starting to question if he really likes her or if he just no longer wants to be alone. But again, just as a reminder, just as a recap, Robert says that he doesn't care about looks, he doesn't care that she doesn't have a job, he doesn't care about potential addictions, and he doesn't care about a potential murder conviction. Can you just recap that for me? Recap it. Recap it. So it's looking like whoever this catfish is, they will be fully accepted and embraced by Robert, which I think is a lovely thing to be fully accepted and embraced by somebody. Girl, don't play. If that's what happens. <laughs> So the next day, we get caught up with Neve as he heads over to meet Ashley. He hesitantly walks up to the door and knocks very gently, which is a shock, but also lets us know that he's extremely nervous. Ashley then walks out and she's also extremely nervous. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Uh, it's a going. And I think she's a really, I think she's a cute girl. Like I wouldn't see her and be like, ew. I'd just be like, oh. What a cute girl, you know what I mean? But Neve then gives her a recap and quickly asks her about the murder. And she just laughs it off and says that she doesn't have a criminal past, which is a huge relief. But she says that being bullied was the reason she sent other pictures because she was afraid that Robert would leave if he saw what she really looked like because based on her bullying and the previous abuse, she's kind of under the impression that nobody would want her, which is heartbreaking. And in my mind, it's very different than when people are like, yeah, I was bullied, so I catfished to get revenge. It's like, no, she she was bullied so she just sent a picture of somebody else i think the only real difference between ashley and the fake ashley is that the fake ashley is skinny and the real ashley is not which i don't think is a problem she then makes it explicitly clear that she has not lied about her life she didn't lie about being in love with robert she only lied about her pictures and then the icing on the cake which is like oh my god this is a perfect little catfish situation she says that she does not mind being robert's caretaker because she's done it before she seems like a very, very sweet girl. And at this point, I was hoping that everything would work out for her greatest good, whether that is being in a relationship with Robert or not being in a relationship with Robert, because she just seems really sweet and really caring. So Ashley then says that she's terrified, but she then agrees to meet Mr. Loverboy anyways, after a little bit of convincing from Neve. You gotta do it. So the next day, the big confrontation happens. And before they meet up, Ashley says that she might throw up on him. And honestly, that's so real. That's so real, girl. As a nervous girly, sometimes I get it. Robert is excited for it to all go down, and with the utmost enthusiasm, he says, I'm the daddy, boo boo. Now, can I be vulnerable with you guys for a second? Can I be real with you guys for a second? If Again? My man said that to me. I'm gonna be like A Train, running across the world in two seconds. But Ashley's not A-Train, so her and Neve just, just drive over to Robert's. But sidebar, like quick, 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 fast. Do y'all watch The Boys? My sister got me into The Boys and Gen V like years ago. I say years ago, it's probably just like last year. And they're great. Like I really like them. And if you like those, and even if you don't like those, I need you to stop everything after this video, of course, and go watch Supercell on Netflix. My sister just got me into that one. And I swear I finished the first season that same day because it's so, so good. The storylines are so intricate. The acting is really good. And Netflix has yet to renew Supercell for a second season. So I need y'all to go and watch it and tell others to watch it so we get another season because that show is just so, so good. But anyways, let's get back to the regularly scheduled program. Finally! When they walk in, Ashley is so excited. And honestly, Robert seems very disappointed because his smile dropped. And I think he was trying to mask it, but we saw that shit, bitch. We saw it. Neve and Max seem more excited than Robert, which is crazy because Robert did all of this for what? All of this for what? Ashley then talks more in depth about her insecurities, her previous bullying and verbal abuse by her mother and her brother. When she even voiced her mental health struggles to her mom, her mom would essentially tell her to just shut the fuck up. Like, I don't wanna hear it type of energy, which is disgusting and can obviously have a very long-term negative impact on your self-image and your overall mental health. So now I kind of understand a little bit more why she sent the fake pictures. I'm not saying that it's okay. I am saying that it's understandable. And I am also saying that it shouldn't really matter in this situation because Robert said a billion times that he doesn't care about looks. But I feel like maybe he should have put an asterisk, asterisk, 
Asterisk? T -t -t Today, Junior! At those little star things he should have put one of those little star things beside it saying unless you're fat and then I don't want you because that's very much the vibe that it's giving right now. Ashley then apologizes for lying about her appearance and Robert then apologizes for ghosting her. There's then like a lot of awkward silence which to me makes it very very clear that Robert is not feeling her. So Neve then takes Ashley outside while Max stays with Robert. Robert says that he's shocked and he doesn't at all seem to care that Ashley's feelings are genuine. And it's clear to me, like I've already said a couple times, that he just is not attracted to Ashley, but he won't flat out say that because he doesn't want to look like an asshole, even though he's kind of coming off as an asshole. Which I think is a really good argument if you just had a lobotomy. Max tells him that he can in fact have the relationship with Ashley that he claims is the only thing that he cared about this entire time. Liar! And in my mind, I'm like, this is crazy because he's willing to accept a murderer because she was skinny, but he's not willing to accept sweet Ashley because she's a bigger girl. Bitch, go to hell. Go to motherfucking hell. Like the energy that he had when he couldn't see her and she was outside the house. Come on, princess. Versus the energy that he's having now. Are <laughs> Hi, I'm Max. Hey. Are two completely different things. And I think it's disgusting behavior. I think it's very shallow behavior. And I would say that about anybody who displayed this type of behavior on the show. So Max then tells him that Ashley checks off a lot of his boxes and tells him to give it more time before coming to a final decision. And I feel like this is for once some very sound advice, but at the same time, I don't think he's pushing it too far. He's like, just don't jump to anything because this is what you claim you've been wanting for a long time. So don't sabotage, don't self-sabotage. But in the car, Ashley says that it feels really good to be around Robert and she's really giddy. And I honestly feel so bad that she's so excited and Robert seems like he could not care about her any less. So Max then heads outside and summons Neve and immediately says, Where's Neve? We have a problem. Which I feel like that's one of the worst things anyone can honestly ever say. It's clear that Robert doesn't want her and just doesn't know how to say that. And I just want to be so crystal clear. I want this to be so clear. Everyone is allowed to choose who they do and they don't want to be with. You're allowed to choose who you are and you are not attracted to. That is not the issue in this situation. I believe the issue in this scenario is that Robert repeatedly said that external factors do not matter and that all Ashley needed to do was essentially show up and he would love her the same as he loved her before he knew what she looked like. Only for her to show up and none of that be true. It's coming off as very hypocritical and shallow whether he intends for it to or not. Because I guarantee if she looked closer to the girl in the pictures, he would be all over her. He would be wanting her. He would be telling her to move in and be with him. So Max then heads back inside. Robert just rambles a bunch in there and he questions if they can just be friends. And in my mind, it's very much giving he wants access to her companionship and her comfort without the commitment of a relationship and without the romance, which I think is very unfair to Ashley because she's made it clear that that's what she wants. It's giving tea and Ibrahim for real. So Neve then goes back to the car and just hypes Ashley up before dropping a hint that she might just have to be okay with being in the friend zone for now. Everyone then links back up and Robert makes it clear that he just wants to be friends with the potential for more after that. Ashley agrees and Neve and Max try to make it sound like that's a win and I just feel like they aren't being honest and I don't understand why. Maybe I do understand why because in their minds like Robert is dying so they don't want to be too harsh on him or anything. But at the same time, I feel like if Robert wasn't in the current medical state that he's in, then they would be calling him out for this hypocritical behavior. They would be calling him out on the inconsistencies in what he said. You said your mom fell down the stairs and then she owned Birkenstocks. And they would be talking about how they truly feel, but I can also understand in their minds, they're like, oh, well, he's dying. So they don't want to be too harsh on him. So while I understand it, I just feel like they aren't being honest with Robert and they aren't being honest with Ashley. And I don't think that that was fair for either of them. Everyone then says their goodbyes. And when Ashley says that she loves Robert, he just says, thank you. Which is fucking crazy. Hey, you. Uh. This is crazy. If I said I loved you to somebody and they said thank you and didn't say it back, I would immediately be crying. I would, I would act like they never existed because that is so embarrassing. And for it to happen on national TV makes it even more embarrassing. So in the car, Ashley says that she's sad, but she's overall glad that they met. I'm glad I met him. I'm really glad I met him. And she's just a really sweet girl. I wish her the best. In our two month follow up, Robert says that he and Ashley aren't talking because she wasn't cool with just being friends. And it's like, gee, I wonder why. Wake up. It's almost like you led her on. And I, oh. 
and you are now dealing with the consequences of your actions. That's crazy. But Robert says that he is now talking to a new girl who lives closer. What's all this bullshit and shenanigans? What's all these shenanigans? He says that when Ashley found out, she got all pissy with me. I can't deal with a lot of drama right now. It's like, sir, you are the drama. You are the drama that you don't want to deal with right now. So when we talk to Ashley, she gives what I perceive to be a much more accurate version of events. And she says that Robert completely disregarded her feelings and he does not care about her. And he doesn't give a f It really hurts. And that's very much what it was giving the entire time. Especially with the fact that by the time they're doing the check-in, he already has a new girl when before, when Ashley was trying to reconnect, he ignored her for a year and then wrote into Catfish before trying to reconnect on his own. Max says that there's definitely a better match for Ashley out there somewhere and she deserved to be with someone who makes her feel good about herself. And I completely agree with that. So in our post show shenanigans, from what I can find online, Robert is still very much alive, which to me and to a lot of people was confusing because throughout the show, they made it seem like Robert could literally die any day. But from what I can find, he is very much still alive. But the fact that he's still alive so many years after that episode had aired, it makes a lot of people question the severity of his health condition and if he potentially made things seem more severe in order to gain more sympathy, clout, and or fame, which led me to an article via the Catfish Reddit, which y'all are the best, I love it over there, about Robert, which makes it clear that his paralysis was caused by transverse myelitis, I think that's how you say that, I don't know, after receiving a shot. If this information is in fact true, then it could potentially mean that his condition is not fatal as he led everyone to believe. But again, I'm not an expert on this, so I don't know if this is 100% true. This is just what the people be saying online, okay? And now after the show, Robert was allegedly exposed online for going on Facebook and using his catfish fame to talk to minors in an inappropriate way. The pressure is getting worse. If this is true, Robert, you are a big pervert. That is disgusting. You are a predator. So while Robert definitely got the sympathetic edit, he ended up being a villain after all. Okay, am I gonna be a diva? Maybe I'll be a diva. I'll be a diva, okay. So this episode is crazy, and I honestly think that Ashley is the one who ended, ended up dodging a bullet. And when I was doing research online, it seemed like people were kind of hesitant to be completely honest about the way that they felt about Robert due to his health issues. And I just feel like that's doing him a disservice. I think that somebody can be a bad person no matter what is going on in their life. I think that the Catfish crew probably owed it to Robert to be a little bit more honest about what they were experiencing from him without trying to tiptoe so much. Because if it were anybody else in that situation, they would have been very honest with him. We've seen them grill people for the same sort of behavior. So they just kind of let Robert off scot-free. If the allegations about Robert are true, that is disgusting. And now him wanting to be on Catfish makes a lot more sense because it was never about finding Ashley and being with Ashley. It was about doing what he could to get clout to serve his own sick entertainment purposes, allegedly. But that is all for this video. Thank you so much, besties, for watching. Make sure to like, make sure to comment, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. So you're aware of every single time that I upload, if there's another episode, another show you'd like to see me cover, you can drop it down in the comments below. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, I just want you guys to see these little rings, these little rings. When I made that poll asking about your ring size, people were like, oh my God, you're a troll. No, I promise I'm not. I'm, I'm testing, I'm testing things for merch, okay? I keep saying that it's coming and I keep ordering things and getting samples of things and then I hate the quality so i have some stuff that i will give away to the first i think i have 50 yeah i have about 50 things that i'll give away to the first 50 purchases when merch drops and hopefully everything is lovely and y'all like it if you made it all the way to the end what could we comment here we can comment a little game controller a little game emoji to represent the type of games that Robert was playing with Catfish and with Ashley, because I'm really disgusted with his behavior. I don't think that anything he did on the show or off the show has been acceptable. But thank you so very much for making it all the way to the end. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video.